So once you have your podcast edited how you want, you removed all the noises, you made your you know cuts, gotten rid of different sounds, you moved things over, you've gotten rid of all the coughs, introduced different music to your background, added your fades. You know, I can fade in the sound by dragging and holding and kind of shaping how abrupt or subtle I want the fade of the audio to come in and out. I'm just going to do that to both ends here. I'm going to lower the volume for the whole channel for my music. So once you have all your podcasts ready, how you want it, you edit your effects, you edit your noise reduction, you got rid of the coughs, you got rid of the pops and clicks. The next thing I'd recommend you do is bring the audio level up to where it's ready for being distrib distributed on platforms like iTunes or Apple Music, Spotify, Pandora, etc. I would bounce out this audio so everything's all blended together. So let's go to File, Export, and Multitrack Mix Down. I'm going to choose Entire Session. And essentially, what it's going to do is combine all the sounds for our entire session into one file. To make sure our file doesn't clip, though, what I recommend you do is in the Mix window. This is our master channel. This is where all the sounds siphon Hello. through. Welcome to this. So I would add something like a limiter or a compressor under amplifying compression or amplitude and compression, I would choose hard limiter. And again, there's some default settings you can choose here. I would just choose like a, for this example, a heavy compressor, compressor, but just keep track introduction of your levels here. Tones. This is how I would do it. Hello, welcome to this introduction. So your amplitude, you don't want it to go above zero. Again, that'd be distortion. So I'm just going to keep it to editing sounds about right there. I will export this now. Go to File, Export, Multitrack Mix Down, Entire Session. And what it's going to do is prompt me for to, to label this. So I'll call this just, you know, a Mix Down a Demo. And it's going to ask you, what format do you want this to be in? So let's say I want to distribute this to iTunes or something, but before I do that, I want to bring my audio levels up all the way. So first things first, I'll just save this as a WAV file because we don't want to lose any information just yet. And I'll even keep the markers that are included in here. So I'll have that toggled, include markers and metadata. And I'll say, okay, and then I'll choose the location you want this to be saved to also. So I want to make it sure it's somewhere I can find. I'll just put it on my desktop. I'll say, okay, so now it's exported. So what I want to do now is I'll reopen this file. This is our mixed down demo. So now we have our demo Hello. file here. Welcome to this introduction to editing sounds. This is how. Now we have our entire session ready to go, right? I want to make sure these are up to broadcast standard levels. So I can analyze my audio to see how loud it actually is by selecting everything under window. I'm going to go and open Amplitude Statistics. And I'm going to choose Scan Selection. So it's going to scan my entire audio file. And this will tell me what my loudest point is. My peak amplitude is negative 3.90 decibels. So that's pretty loud in this particular section, but not everything. So what can I do to bring up all the audio level so it's to where it needs to be in the broadcast standard? You would go under something called match loudness. If that's not in your window by default, you can access that by going to window and match loudness. So this will either A, open up in a separate window, or if you uh, have it set up, it might open up in your tabs here. And like I showed you before, you can always uh, move your tabs around and customize what you want. So in this window, what it will do, I'm gonna go back to my files now. So our mix down demo. What I'm gonna do is drag our audio into this section here. And I'm gonna run it through this. It's gonna analyze my sound and tell me, hey, it's at this level. So that is actually not too bad. It's already at 19 LUFs. Your stereo tracks, you want to be around 16 LUFs. And your mono tracks, you want those to be around 19 LUFs. So this can actually be boosted up a little bit. And what this essentially means is like the overall sound of loudness. There's different applications you can use to monitor this. 
There's third third party plugins that monitor this. Uh, Waves has a plugin that does this. It just indicates how loud something is. So Adobe Audition actually has this really cool feature that can bring all your sound up to that level. So now I know it's at 19, but I want it to be a little louder to be at that standard level. So you have different options to choose from here, but if you're just gonna do like a general distribution on these different platforms, you can leave it as this default one here, this ITURBS17 thing here, choose that top one. The main thing you wanna make sure you focus on is the tolerance level and the LUFs. So I'm gonna bring this down to, what did we say we want it to be, 16. So you can either drag that slider to the left and right, or you can click inside and change that number manually. I'm gonna say 16. And then all you have to do now is press run. So it's gonna rewrite a whole new audio file to bring your sound up to that level. So I didn't have my level where I needed to be. So what I did was adjust the target tolerance below where it should be, which is normally 16 LUFs for stereo track. But I, I realized setting it to around 14 actually gave me the balance it needed to be. So now it's at 16. So what it did, you can see, gave it plus three decibels, or plus 3.35 decibels to reach that target sound. Hello, welcome to this introduction. So now my audio is at the standard level it needs to be to do, be distributed on different platforms as a stereo track, and it's not editing sounds. This is how I would do it. So that's ideal. So the beauty of this is if you have multiple episodes, you need them to be all at the same level. This is a very quick way to do this. I'm gonna drag all these audio files into this. And what it's gonna do is analyze all of them independently. So it takes a little minute for it to do. And it's gonna give you the readout of all the LUFs, the LUFs. So some are at negative 12, some are at 27. They're all over the place, right? So I want these to be uniform across the board. So I'll just set this to around, I don't know, let's say 19. And I will click run. So now what it's doing, it rewrote over the original audio files. You see it's loading there. And it's gonna try to bring up all the audio to the standard level. See the last one's loading there, it's a longer episode. Right now it's at 24. What it's doing is rewriting a whole new audio file. And what it did was bring up all my audio levels to that standard level it needs to be to. So it analyzed it, now it's doing its thing. So boom, now it told you what it did. So to get this one to 19, the goal that I set it to, it had to remove some decibels, it had to increase this by seven, it had to increase this by eight, and so on and so forth. So now if I you know, open these audio files, they're all slightly, the, the waveforms look slightly different because they're all a little louder or quieter to get to that standard level I wanted it to be and those overwrote the original audio files. Remember, this is destructive editing. So make sure you're happy with the changes you make or save a copy of the original audio file. Now, before I would export this as complete, so say I made these changes to all these audio files, an important thing to do is write the metadata. So if I open this up in you know a different player, iTunes or something like that, and I want the artist's name and title to all pop up, and not just be blank, I would do that here. I'd write all the information here. So let's do that for uh, this you know, demo recording we had here. Whatever information I want to show up when you load this on a different platform will show up now. So if I say file, save as for this demo, and now I can change this from wave to high, the, every, all the bits of information, I want it to compress into an MP3, or you can choose different formats if you want to. I'll just choose MP3. You'll notice the size changed because now it's a smaller file and you also have this option to choose the markers and other metadata. So I'll say, okay. So now if I open this in a different program for this example, I just opened it in another program called Fission. Just drag and drop it in here. All that information pops up immediately. So I have the year it was created, the track number, name of the album, artist, title. If you had artwork, you can include that, include that as well. The genre, it's beautiful. It just pops up anywhere I load it now. If I load it into whatever program, this will show up now. So the last step I'd recommend is you check your audio against levels just to be sure that it still is passable on different platforms. And we'll do that in the next step now.